Keith Bradburn, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. And welcome back, everybody. Taking a quick look at a six-hour time lapse, and not a whole lot of activity going on. We've got plenty of sunshine. Winds are starting to pick up a little bit from the south. It's going to be a bit of a southern breeze as we continue heading into our afternoon hours. Right now, we are sitting with 85 degrees in San Angelo, humidity down to 32 percent, and winds, like I said, coming in a bit stronger, 16 miles an hour right now. Temperatures around the rest of the region here, we're seeing a lot of low to mid. Uh, 80 to start off our noon hours here. It's a little bit cooler in Coleman and Brady in the upper 70s at this time, but overall not too bad. We're going to continue to feel a little bit warmer as we get through our day and those humidity levels, mostly in the 30s and 40s across the region here. So it's going to be a little bit on the dry side. Seeing a lot of double digits for the wind speeds coming in from the south with the exception Ballinger only at 9 miles an hour at this time. We're going to continue to see that stronger wind speed coming in as we get through the rest of our afternoon hours. Our temperatures are mostly in the 70s and 80s across the state here. We are getting even closer around Laredo over to Houston, getting closer to those upper 80s, even low 90s to start off our afternoon. Not a whole lot of activity going on. We do have a few clouds pushing through the Panhandle area. Otherwise, for the Concho Valley, we're going to continue to see plenty of clear skies as we get through the rest of our day. And then we are going to see those temperatures sticking in the 90s as we get through our afternoon hours. Normally, we're supposed to be in the mid 80s for highs and cooling down, but that's not going to be the case. We're still seeing those summer like temperatures temperatures sticking around for our region and we see a lot of low to mid 90s for highs across the Contra Valley with the exception El Dorado only going to be hitting the upper 80s. Now sometimes you might think when I forecast why there might be a difference at your house where the temperatures could be a little bit different than what the official recording is. Well there's a few reasons here. It can be more with the direct sun versus with the official recording at the National Weather Service. It's more in a shaded area out in the field so it's not going to have that opportunity for maybe some of the coloring of the house or some concrete that's going to radiate some of that heat onto the thermometer. Now tonight's lows are going to be in the 60s. We're going to have a few clouds in the skies still lingering from later tonight and then tomorrow we're going to have a few clouds coming in in the afternoon. Other afternoon hours. Otherwise, it's mostly going to be sunny skies. Highs, once again, low to mid-90s can be expected. And the reason we're seeing these warmer than, or warmer than average temperatures is because this high pressure system continues to just sit to the south of us. And that's pushing a lot of the warmer temperatures from the south all the way up into portions of Canada. Anybody have travel plans this weekend? Well, you'll notice that gas prices have gone up about five, six cents, not only for national and state averages, but for San Angelo as well. We're seeing, like I said, a lot of those prices have elevated almost 285, especially in San Angelo, but still lower than the state average. We're going to see a lot of sunshine for the next couple of days here. Temperatures in mostly the upper 80s to low 90s, and then we are going to have a cold front late Sunday, and then we're also expecting another cold front coming through Wednesday. That could give us some spotty showers with high dropping to the low to mid 80s. You're watching KLST News at Noon. We'll be right back after this.